welcome back to ET's Indian channel and today we are going to make a special Indian dish called chicken handi. So it's sort of chicken curry but lot more flavorful and really easy to make at home. Now handi actually refers to a kind of clay pot in which this dish used to be made traditionally back in the day. Nowadays it's hard to come by clay pots, the cooking methods have changed. So we've adapted this recipe so that it works for us, it suits our palate and you still get that comforting feeling after you enjoy this dish with rice or naan. So let's go ahead in the kitchen and I will show you how to make chicken handi at home in the comfort of your own kitchen. Recipe for two. So we will begin by heating a pan. Add in oil, let the oil become hot, then add in your spices starting with one stick of cinnamon, one bay leaf and three to four green cardamom. You can split the green cardamom open so that you get maximum flavor out of them. Cloves, four to five and last but not least are cumin seeds. We will give these spices about a minute so that they can splutter, sizzle. Once the oil is flavored with them, go ahead and add chopped onion. So finely chopped onion in the pan, give it a quick mix then add in ginger garlic paste. I'm using homemade ginger garlic paste here and I will leave the recipe as to how you can make it at home at the top here. We will mix ginger garlic along with onions and allow the onions to become golden brown. Once they have changed color, you are satisfied that they are well done. Then add in your chicken pieces. I'm using 300 grams of chicken for this recipe today. Boneless, you can use chicken breast, chicken thigh. We are sealing it here. So making sure that it's white from outside, maybe a little bit of brown, but it would still be uncooked from inside. So once you get this brown chicken, then add in puree of two tomatoes. So simply blending two tomatoes with a little bit of water and we are adding our spices now so salt should be as per your taste combining all our ingredients turmeric that lends that beautiful yellow color to the dish and red chili powder depending on how spicy you want your dish to be mix these spices in and then cover your pan and let your tomatoes cook until they are no longer raw and you want them to dry out quite a bit just like so you can see the tomatoes have cooked down they are combined with the chicken now we are going to add cashew paste so simply soak in 10 12 cashews with a little bit of water then grind them to make a cashew paste that lends a beautiful exotic flavor to our chicken handi and then we will add in two tablespoons of yogurt now this is optional instead of yogurt you can also use sour cream or even whipping cream to make it a little bit more creamy and rich so depending on your personal preference you can modify the dish so that it suits your palate and once these ingredients are well combined give another minute or two to the chicken and then we will finish it off by adding a little bit of black pepper so powdered black pepper towards the end and dried fenugreek leaves that's kasuri methi one of our herbs and cilantro or coriander finely chopped and that's it our dish is ready look at that our kitchen is filled with aromas of our curry and this is best enjoyed with rice or naan it makes for a wonderful dish for lunch or dinner or if you have company over and you want to try a delicious chicken curry dish give this recipe a go thanks for watching the recipe video guys let me know what you think of it leave me a comment below if you try it don't forget to give me your feedback and i will see you soon with another exciting recipe so do stay tuned to Eat East Indian channel.